guys today we are going to uh, understand how we can configure the height meta store so as we know by default there is a derby okay which is single threaded and uh, in memory database so uh, the, of course uh, no one suggests for production the derby one so uh, as we already discuss about the hype meta store what it is you can you know you can check my uh, last videos where you understand the which is the i mean what what is the actual meta store so here we can discuss in the you know uh, we hype meta store is just kind of central repository where all the your you know table information like the schema structure all the information is stored on your meta store and the actual data reside inside your sdfs okay so it is already although we have uh, uh, you know hype meta store uh, how hive actual work hive architecture already all those videos there you can go and you know check out all videos so today we are going to uh, configure we are going to replace the derby default one database with the masql okay so I, I have with me a document like the all the steps are there so first of all what you need to do you have to install the masql uh, server in your virtual box and then uh, you have to download the masql connector jar file that you need to put into your high home lib directory okay so even uh, you can check the my last video where uh, already you know how we can install the apache hive on virtual box so you you will understand what what the hive home hive home is nothing just a hive directory okay and then uh, this is the some uh, configuration configuration which we need to mention into our hive hyphen site.xml file so okay let me go you know my virtual box and let me show you how we can do so first of all what we need to do we need to install the uh, masql server so for that you have to type sudo app get install mysql server this is the command after hit the enter build prompt for a password and uh, that password you should you know uh, note down somewhere because that password we need to put into our uh, hype hyphen site.xml file all right okay so as i already installed this mysql server with me so i'm not uh, you know just uh, going to install again so it may be take more time on in video okay so here i can do i can just show you my masql is up to running up and running okay so this is the you can check excuse sorry spelling mistake all right so this is the what i have this is the all the tables and database inside this uh, mysql so okay well, this is the first step is done i have uh, already installed the mysql in my virtual box the next step is uh, you have to download the mysql connector jar file and then you need to copy this file inside hive home lib directory lib so i have already downloaded this file and this is the my jar file and in in my last video you can see we have installed apache hive so this is apache hive and we need to put the jar inside lib directory okay so you can see i have already put it there let me show you so this is the mysql connector okay so this is the one so two steps are complete the next step is we have to edit or create new file hive site dot xml inside conf directory hive home conf directory okay so let me go back and apache hive then conf and there is a hive site dot xml file okay let me open it okay so all the same parameter i have already pasted there okay they will discuss one by one about that parameter and check 
this is the default password I am giving for this virtual box. You can you know mention any of the password whatever you want. Okay, so let's discuss. Uh, there is a property one proper to define one property. You this is the way to define the, all the configuration in Apache Hive. So there is a name and value. So first name is this connection URL. We have to give in the connection URL. So as I know, MySQL running on localhost. So this is the default database. You know I have given there. So let me change it. New meta store. Okay, and this is the one where the if it the database will not exist, it will create. Okay, as we are using the version up to point. 2x of Apache Hive, so we need to run, you know, schema tool which will uh, generate for us the database. Okay, so the next thing is that connection username, the username of your MySQL, password, password of your uh, MySQL, and here we are mentioning the connection driver name. This is the our uh, jar file, the package connection driver name, which is we have already put it into uh, Hive Home. Uh, lib directory and this is con directory we are creating the hype site.xml okay so after these property we will save it and uh, what we need to do we just go to terminal and uh, just type the hype As we are, you know, initializing the first time uh, this uh, meta store, so what we need to do, we have to run, you know, uh, run the schema tool as well. Let me show you one minute. Hang on. Okay, so this is the C H E M A tool hyphen init schema hyphen D B type my square. As I can see in if I go there and just type the show data basis. Okay, there is a no. Okay, that of course, yeah. Uh, the new meta store, of course, I have typed the hype, so it create the database. But let's use this one and see if any default table is there. Meta store. Meta. Sorry. Meta store. Oops. Use. Copy and paste. Let's type the so tables. There is no table, right? So let me run the schema. This one, and after this, we will check the table. After this, we will check the database. Okay, this is done. So let me go back there and just type the same again. So you can see there is a 57 table, the default all the table of the meta store is created there. Okay, so and so let me go and type the hype. So this is the what we have MySQL, you know, meta store we have configured mysql as a meta store of apache hype so it it comes with the default one derby so what we did we replace that and install the mysql as a our apache hype meta store which will store all the information about our tables schema and the actual data 
will be reside inside HDFS. Okay, so let me just type the show databases. There is a default database. Okay, so let's check few of things inside this MySQL. So there is a aux table, bucketing, CDS, column, queue, database params, DBS. Okay. So let's let's uh, try to uh, survey tables, all those things there, right? So let's select any of the one like the DBS. Select a strip from DBS can see there is a hype default database okay so let me go there and try to create create database mysql meta store db just for name okay oh what happened create database sorry i'm mistake I'm spelling okay so this is now what i can do so databases oh again i am doing sorry guys okay we can see there is a mysql meta score db okay this is the hype one it is showing let's check their actual mysql and type this again so as we can see there is a path of this you know sdfs path for this database all the tables you know all the table information all the you know actual data how many tables reside inside this sdfs path this is the this is the default one hive warehouse mysql db dot db is this is the default directory and this is the name of that okay th this is the showing the owner so let me show you uh, the database inside let me go there okay this is actual sdfs so let me go there just with this one and this is i can see mysql meta store db dot db this is the directory created and this is how the meta store work the actual all the information all that actual data is stored on your sdfs and regarding the meta store like your table name table column all those things is stored on mysql database understood okay guys so that's all for the meta store uh, configuration here we did uh, you know replace the derby with mysql okay we will uh, discuss about more you know tables and all the external and managed table in the next video Thank you guys.